I'm Chase Knight for CityStars.tv. I'm here with Gordon Collection, another midfielder and sometimes a defender for the City Stars here in Cleveland, Ohio. Just wanted to catch up with Gordon, uh, find out a little bit more about what he does off the field as well as on the field. Just wanted to talk to you about, obviously, uh, in your undergrad work, you went to Seton Hall, played some soccer there, eventually on to MLS, uh, New York Red Bulls, and now here at the Cleveland City Stars. Uh, just talk a little bit about where you grew up and, and what kind of soccer development you were uh, accustomed to. Yeah, I grew up in uh, Southern California, Huntington Beach to be exact. Um, it's a great great place to grow up, you know, it's kind of like out here where, you know, it's a hotbed for soccer, people like it and, you know, when I grew up playing my dad was like the biggest mentor in my life and with my brother and I playing and, you know, him teaching us, we kind of just, just learned the game from him and and I kind of just grew from there. And once we got to like 14 or 15, we kind of looked, looked at each other and said, you know, it's something we could take seriously and it could be a career for us. And I think from there on out, we just uh, got involved in like ODP programs and uh, just kind of grew from watching players that were older than us and watching games and the MLS was flourishing at the time and, and you know, just getting going. And it was always a dream for us to play in it. And, and you know, we just kind of taught ourselves and then got to college and learned under Manny Shellshite, who was a big mentor for both of us. And he taught us a lot. And, the school taught us a lot, you know, as, as far as being better people, and on the field, he's got us to be better players as well. So that's how we really developed, I think. Yeah. Now, we, talking with Gordon throughout the whole season, uh, we talked about how you did actually play baseball a lot growing up as well, and there came a point where you had to decide if you wanted to play soccer or baseball. What kind of set things apart for you? I just was told my parents that sat me down and said, you know, we can't pay for all this, you can't do all this, you can't be in two places at once. And at the age of 16, it was getting really time consuming and it was taking away from my schooling. And you know, my parents, they had you know so much to do and we were driving everywhere and playing club baseball and club soccer. You know, it's time consuming and it takes a lot of money. So they said, you know, you gotta pick one. And uh, it took time, it was hard for me. I know, I, and I finally decided I chose soccer and I think it was the right thing to do. It, obviously you make more money playing baseball in America, but it was something that I, I loved and I still do miss baseball a lot, but it was it was a good choice and my decision just came from being what, you know, what I love more, so. And I feel like taking on Let me be a supernova Before you make the biggest mistake of your life Just give me the chance to get it we're back here with Gordon Collection on CityStars.tv. Just talk a little bit more about um, Gordon joining the City Stars after uh, being with MLS team now here in the USL 1 First Division. And just wanted to get your input on uh, what it's like to be in, uh, in the USL First Division with a team that has a, a, such a diverse number of players. And I know obviously throughout your career you have experienced that, but this team has got so many different um, just ethnic groups really to be honest yeah totally i think the last time we counted it was like 14 or 15 different countries represented on our team so it's it's kind of cool i mean i played in new york last year where there was a, a good south american influence and i think here it's a more of a an african influence you know we have a lot of guys from different countries in africa and it's kind of cool i've never really really played with that many guys from that many different places you know in New York, we had a couple from here and there, and you know it was cool. But here, it's so diverse that it's it's amazing. You know, you learn so much from other cultures and their ways, and I think it's a it's a good way of learning, a good way of playing. It's kind of fun, so I well, enjoy it. What 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 guy would you say probably has some of the craziest music? Craziest music, uh, I think um, probably Warren Kanu. He's he's got a good little mix. I think his pump up mix for the games like kind of for us is like a chill mode, you know, it's pretty chill like reggae stuff that I would probably fall asleep to, but he hears <laughs> it and he, he jams hard and gets ready for the game, so I mean obviously that's different, you know, I would, I would get into some metal or something heavier and he gets something mellow that he can vibe to and that's, that's probably more for sure. Well the City Stars obviously are, are big into serving the community and um, Obviously, most of the players coming into the Cleveland City Stars wanted to at least get in the community somehow, and most professional athletes do that in some way. I think the City Stars take it a little bit farther than most teams. What makes you most happy when you go into a into a, a district where there's underprivileged kids who never really get to see a professional athlete? I just, you know, seeing smiles on kids' faces is amazing. You know, we. I go every Thursday to the same group of kids, you know, for two hours. I got two groups for an hour, you know, and. And when you get there in the first week, everyone was kind of tentative and 
And then now, like after a month and a half now, I come in, the kids are giving me hugs and you know, giving me high fives. And when we leave, they, they don't want us to end, you know. And you can tell that you made a difference in their lives. You know, you never know. You, you could have saved a kid's life. You know, something could have happened to them. You know, they could have been in the streets if it wasn't for us. And you have to look at it like that. You know, like even though we we're just going out there for an hour or so a day, but maybe that whole next six days they've been thinking about when's the next time we're going to be there. You know, and when I see them playing and, and enjoying a sport that they probably would never get to play in the inner city, like soccer, it's, it's pretty cool. And I think it's uh, the best thing about being a pro athlete is that you know we can get back to the community. And, and those things are way better than any win or any goal that we can score, so that's pretty amazing. Well, Cleveland City obviously is a, a big proponent on getting into the community, and this is just one other way that they've done so. Well, now we're catching up with Gordon Clutchin to talk a little bit about things he likes to do off the field. Now, we know everyone has their own story with that, and we just want to ask you, what Obviously, right now you have a Lexus. What would maybe be your dream car, though? I think I would, if I could have any car, it would be a uh, Maserati or a Bentley two-door coupe. That'd be pretty cool. But realistically, uh, <laughs> you know, maybe like a hybrid Tahoe or a hybrid uh, Escalade. I think yeah. I would take a hybrid Escalade. You know, I like I like to kind of keep things green around here. <laughs> so a little hybrid, you know, maybe go SUV, but make me feel better about it by having it, you know hybrid on it would be cool. That's what I would choose, bro. What's your style of music? You know, I, I have phases, you know. I go through, you know, a little hip-hop phase, you know, a little bit of hard, you know, like metal or, or rock, but right now it's kind of everything. You know, I like that, you know, electronic sometimes, so I don't know, I just get through, I don't know, whatever my mood is, I change it up. So if I'm looking for something to pump me up before a game, I'll get some rock going or maybe some, some like, house music, I don't know. I like to mix it up. Yeah. Now, Obviously, you, you're you from California, Huntington Beach area. Are you a big surfer? I was. I was a big time surfer. And then uh, when I started taking soccer pretty serious, uh, I got hurt and the fin went into my quad and I had to get like 10 stitches, a couple under the skin and the muscle too. So my dad took my board and gave it away to one of my neighbors. And since then, I've been really scared to surf, and afraid of getting hurt. So I gave up surfing and snowboarding probably around 17 or 18. So yeah, not anymore, but I like to go out and body surf every once in a while. Well, there's uh, most of this team has a lot of personalities, and we've talked about some pretty funny stories on a lot of the interviews I've done so far. So far, with your time in Cleveland, the last two or three months, what would you say? And tell us a little bit about probably the funniest story you've run into on or off the field. Hmm. I mean, there's some. There's always some fun times in the locker room with the boys. So you know, we always have a running prank war going on or something like that. I guess the funniest thing would be. Uh, Something to do with Jason Hodgkin. I mean, I'm always going after him, always pranking him. Probably, you know, hanging his shoes up high where he can't find them or putting some skin lube in his shoes. Or I think I took a marker and signed his locker with my name on it. So I don't know, just stuff, stuff like that. You know, there's nothing too crazy. And come to mind real quick, I can't think of anything that's like the funniest, but. I remember that one story about uh, Tony Miola. Oh yes, that's a good one. I took his phone and uh, I changed uh, some numbers in his cell phone and uh, he was going to text somebody and I gave him the wrong number and he ended up texting Tony Miola because uh, he was one of our teammates playing indoors last year. So he sent a text uh, to somebody they thought he wasn't and Tony ended up getting it and uh, we uh, were started laughing and stuff and then we got someone else with a random phone number to text him saying it was his wife that was mad at him and was going to kill him. So he started freaking <laughs> out and let's just say it turned into a pretty funny event and he got scared and told me to make sure I fixed it and then we found out he, he actually laughed it off because it was pretty funny. Well, Colby an interview I did a couple weeks ago talked about how after playing soccer you'd like to get into more coaching do some clinics and stuff what what are some things that you're looking to do and aspire to do maybe after your soccer career uh, as far as coaching I, I, I don't see myself as a coach I like I like the game I like to analyze the game but as far as being like a, a head coach that's not really interesting to me I I wouldn't mind like running an academy being a like director of it where I can kind of oversee everything I, I kind of have a good vision for that and my brother and I would like ideally to have an academy, you know, like a Clutchin Academy or Clutchin Brothers Academy where we can kind of involve youth in uh, Orange County and get them into a, an environment where they can be around year round, you know, and just push them into, you know, get them, get them into, you know, professional ranks early I and mean, be like, kind of like Europe, you know, coming from European descent, you know, we've, we know what it's like, you know, and, and my father has that, has that vision as well. So I would like to do that, but I also would like to become an agent one day uh, or work as a, you know, in the front office of a, a franchise. I got my degree in sports management, so 
I think it's something that would, that would suit me pretty well. You know, it's it's cool, and I, would, I wouldn't mind that. Well, we appreciate getting together with Gordon Collection for CityStars.tv. I'm Chase Nottingham. Catch us next week for another interview with one of your City Stars players.